Okay, we're gonna we're gonna show you how to hook up the M4 to my full size um, RC timer 5010 motor quad with ESC32 version threes, and um, there's a few connections to make, but they're real easy to do and real quick. We'll slide the battery off. We're gonna find a home for it down there on some Velcro so it doesn't go anywhere. Then we're going to plug in, first thing to plug in is our CAN connector. This is what talks to our four ESC32 version 3s. Um, I like CAN a lot better. It's a lot safer. It's less apt to get one uh, powering up on you when you don't want it to. Okay. And much faster to talk to it. Okay. That's 5 volt connector that I've installed. That provides 5 volts. That's it. No USB. Just 5 volts. And that powers the board up automatically when my uh, main battery is plugged in. And then we hook up our external spectrum receiver. We've got two ports. We've got um, one spectrum receiver on the board right here. That's the antenna. But when we're going to go long range or we're going to use something with a carbon fiber canopy, which would, of course, shield that antenna, why? We're going to use the external spectrum receiver that I, satellite receiver that I have down there. Okay. Well, that's all you got to do on the bottom. I mount, I've got little, four little posts here on a block of foam that I use. Um, I wouldn't do that permanently. I think if I was going to do this, mount one permanently on a frame, I would use the normal method um, with a couple screws, four screws to hold it down make sure it doesn't go anywhere but for just the concept uh, that I'm trying to demonstrate why well, we'll just put it on there for small little quads all my M4s have posts and little silicon tubing to hold them in position works great okay now the next thing to plug in is the expansion board on the expansion board we've got connections through two 10 pin connectors to the signals that are on the board available to us and uh, we have four PWM signals which are going to come out here two of which are going to control the lights and the other the ground and the uh, other wires is our tilt signal down to our gimbal okay. and we're also going to hook up a Bluetooth adapter here which is sitting down here on the side and this is a little Pololu step up uh, converter 3.3 volts that provides power to this connector and it has transmit and receive to talk to the Bluetooth modem. Okay. We'll make sure we line up J1 on J1 and J2 on J2. Um, you got to double check this. It, it's very, very easy to get one on right and the other on wrong or them offset one this way or that way. So take your time, look at it a couple times before you um, say, okay, we're ready. Okay, that looks good. Okay, basically, we just installed a flight control board on that quad. Now, we do have to hook up um, an antenna. We'll hook up our G GPS patch antenna. The best antennas we found are these towel glass 35 millimeter antennas. They're great. Okay, folks, uh, let's go fly it. Okay, I've opened up the onboard parameter window in QGC, and before we go fly the CAN quad, I wanted to show you the difference in parameters between <clears throat> the micro quad and when using it on a uh, full-size quad. There's based some, some commonality uh, between the two, but there's a few things that change. Obviously, CAN is going to change. We're going to have to put a CAN number in. Um, our value A1, A2 numbers won't mean anything anymore, and this motor max number is going to change. Um, and I'll show you what that does here in a minute. Um, so we go down and we see that we're set up for motors 1 through 4 on the micro quad. That's in the motor values, and we come down here into the um, IMU. You'll notice. There's tear values. Everything else, this is a completely uncalibrated board. I haven't even calibrated it for, for the mags. Um, I put in my inclination and declination, and that's it. 
Okay, we look at the Quatos numbers. We see that this Quatos J roll pitch and yaw, pretty low numbers. That's because it's a pretty little aircraft. So the moments are not that high. And AM1 and AM2 are a little different, but pretty much the same. And we're set up for motors one through four. Now I'm going to load um, a 5010 numbers in here for a 5010 motored quad, about 600 millimeter boom. You're going to see what changes. <clears throat> and I have teared uh, for the other aircraft at one time. So that's what those numbers have come from. But you'll see it's still, once again, it's a totally uncalibrated board. Um, that's what we're going to fly with. Our Quatos numbers are going to change. Um, we're going to put in, uh, you see our moment numbers here, 0 0.029, about 0 0.03. Before it was 0 0.0004. No, 0 0.0004. Uh, values because the aircraft's a lot bigger, it's heavier, it has a greater moment, and that's where these numbers come from. These numbers tell the tell Quatos how much thrust has to be applied to get the angular rate that it needs. Okay, and, and you see AM1 and AM2 are different. Um, some of the numbers are going to change. I've added uh, the ability to tune with my uh, 12 channel transmitter, so I've added those channels in here. Uh, wouldn't have had that on the other Deltang receiver. And um, we come down now, I'm using motors uh, 5 through 8. Okay, I did that so I don't get things confused. Okay, and if we go back up to the top into motors, you're going to see that I'm also using motors 5 through 8. And um, the CAN number is 240, that represents those numbers 5 through 8. If we were normally in CAN, the con most convenient thing is is just to put, uh, let's see, 16 there, which will give you all your um, your first four motors. Okay. Uh, let's see, that's about it. Okay. That's all the difference it takes to convert one to the other. We we load it, boom, transmit it, and we're ready to go. Okay. Let's go fly it. Okay. We're going to do a quick test hop on my. <clears throat> RC timer 5010 600 millimeter quad with a cover up, M4 flight control board controlling the craft. Okay. And we'll put this camera in the little gimbal here. And they'll record. I've got the Nexus 7 laying here so you can hear the audio as the GPS gets locked. Auto Quad M4. Let's go. Connected. Lost GPS lock. GPS trying new baud rate. GPS 2D lock. GPS 3D lock. Armed. Armed. 